distrust the incumbent caretaker foreign secretary and deposed UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government beat her rival Rishi Sunak. The Indian origin former chancellor, according to a survey of ruling Conservative Party members, the Electoral College to choose the winner. 47% of the respondents to pollster opinion felt trust performed better versus 38% who thought likewise about Sunak. In a quest to succeed Boris Johnson as UK's next Prime Minister, the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak and British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss traded blows at each other over economic policy, foreign relations in the first ever TV debate on Monday night. Let's watch some highlights. When we get in, we'll have to see what happens to energy bills. I think people have seen from me over the past couple of years that as a situation changes on the ground, I'm always going to respond to support people through it. But that's just about the short term. I think it's also worth us taking a moment to think, well, how do we solve this problem in the long term? And I think there's a couple of things we can do. The first is to help people with energy efficiency. Here and watching whose homes I think we can better insulate. We know that there are millions of homes. And we need more homegrown energy here at home. I would act immediately. I understand that people here, people around the country, are struggling with some of the worst cost of living problems that we've had for generations. It's hard to pay for fuel. It's hard to pay for food. I would reverse the increase in national insurance. So I'd reverse that increase in national insurance. I'd also have a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy, which would help cut money from fuel bills. That was very important. That would come in straight away. Well, look, we all took a decision to protect the economy and support the NHS through COVID. And of course, we all knew there was a bill that we needed to pay for that. So the question is, should we pay that bill ourselves or do we put it on the country's credit card and pass the tab to our children and grandchildren to take care of? Now, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's responsible and it's certainly not conservative. And that's what I wouldn't do as prime minister. Not responsible, Liz Trust. Under my plans, we would start paying down the debt in three years' time. So I'm not putting it on the never-never. I would start paying it down it, it in is, three years. That's uh, simply not right. You me, promised almost £40 me, you, billion you, pounds of unfunded tax cuts, but, £40 billion pounds more borrowing. That is the, company, the country's credit card. It's our children and grandchildren. Everyone here is that is, that we're is going to have true. to pick up the tab for that. Rishi, that There's is not true. There's nothing conservative about doing it. Under my plans, we would start paying down the debt in three years' time. I don't believe this negative, declinist language It's your own economic hearing. advisor, Liz. It's we, not mine. We, it's your own advisor. I have lots of economists that are backing my plans. Everybody and, and, thinks and he's that, that putting up... Everybody thinks that putting up taxes at this moment is going to hurt the economy. Do you accept I, that? I, I absolutely... This is the problem with your plan. It's going to push people into... into no, please let Liz Truss answer. Please let her answer. When uh, inflation gets out of control, Sunak, please, interest rates go up, Rishi that's Sunak, what Please let Liz Truss answer. I don't accept those points. Any economist knows that taxes are completely different from interest rates. Interest rates are set by the Independent Bank of England. We know that inflation is forecast to fall next year. What I'm talking about with my plans is not raising taxes. There is no evidence at all that not raising taxes is inflationary. 